hope this is making some kind of sense to you guys because the moment you guys start to understand that majority of the time when you know you know i said this before as i say sometimes you know in a consolidation it depends on the time frame that when it breaks out it wants to continue going in that direction that is true in some cases okay but in the overall scheme of things okay when the uh when the contracts are collected and then price breaks out yeah it'll go up a little bit because it needs to convince you right and the, the time frame that it goes up could be a good amount of pips all right we're on a daily time frame so we just take that little breakout boom look 112 pips okay so it's not like we're wrong right well because we get in on a lower time frame anyway so we would have saw the breakout and we would have had an opportunity to make about 100 and some odd pips but in the grand scheme of things okay there were so many more contracts that were long that eventually the market makers are going to uh um you know co collect as many more uh people going long before they before they drop it and i'm going to teach you guys you know how to like kind of identify that uh and what that's all about but you just need to know that the market is manipulated okay all right you are trading against the banks and that the banks they 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 trade a certain way they collect orders and then because they they can see which orders uh, which orders have the most money, okay, right, that they can take from people, right? It's so easy. Just imagine if you guys had that power, right? If, imagine if you guys could see everybody's orders. Just think about it for a second. If you can see everybody in this particular call right now, if we all place the trade, nobody said what they did out loud, but they hit buy or sell, and then you got a computer, you got an application on your computer that's showing you every trade that we, you know, that we did, that we placed. Right. And you can see, OK, out of all of these trades, almost everybody in this group wants to buy. Right. So all of their money is in buying. So I got enough money to place an order or, you know, you, you know, looking behind the scenes, you have enough money because the banks are giving it to you. OK. To tell you, hey, we want that money from those individuals who want to go long. The only way that we can get it is that you have to place an order to go short. That way. We can take all we can take out all of their stop losses, right? Wherever they had their stop loss, or we could just take their money, right? You may not have a stop loss. All right. If you have a stop loss, well, they're just gonna take out the money that you risked in, in your stop loss. If you don't have a stop loss, well, then they're just gonna continue taking your money until they basically blow, you know, uh, uh liquidate your account, right? And blow your account where you don't have any money left. All right. But that's what that's all about. So um, you know, there's there's understanding, you know, where the money is and then eventually move it in the opposite direction of where the, the most money was, all right? And if you guys understand that, okay, then you're going to have a leg up in this Forex because you're going to understand that the banks are sleeping with the brokers, right? The brokers have to do certain little things on the chart to, uh, you know, take the opposite position of where the money is. And if you know how they do that, then you're going to be able to trade the way that they trade, okay? So it won't always be about the trend. It'll be about the collection of where the money is, all right? 